Hi, this is Paul J. Adam, and this is a demonstration of the VoiceOver accessibility settings available in iOS 7. So to modify the VoiceOver settings, you go to the Settings app, and then General, and then Accessibility. And you'll see that there are a lot of different accessibility settings here. VoiceOver is underneath the Vision settings. So to get into the detailed settings for VoiceOver, tap on VoiceOver. And um, here you would turn it on or turn it off. You can adjust the speaking rate to be faster, more towards the rabbit or slower with the turtle. Um, speak hints I'll leave on by default. And actually title attributes are spoken as hints um, and that sort of thing. And other hints are um, things like double tap to activate or... Um, swipe, or, swipe up or down to adjust the value is the hint that will be spoken for slider controls like the speaking rate control. Sound effects are um, little ear con noises that you hear as you interact with different elements in voiceover. Um, an important setting here is the rotor. And the rotor will uh, let you choose which semantic elements you want to navigate by in VoiceOver um, in HTML or in a native app and um, there are some chosen by default but you need to add a few extras um, and some of the ones that I've added are like headings, links, form controls, tables, list, ARIA landmarks, buttons. Um, these are some of the ones that I use and another important one is vertical navigation which allows you to um, go up or down cells inside a data table. So you need that for data table testing. You can pick other languages or dialects if you'd like to. Um, there's a lot of other English dialects. Um, you know, Australian English, British English, that sort of thing. You can add them to the rotor too if you'd like to be able to um, dynamically switch to these different dialects as you're using voiceover. Um, speak notifications um, I don't usually turn on. Uh, one that is new in iOS 7 is the large cursor which just makes the voiceover outline cursor a thicker black outline than the small one so I do enable that. Now um, if you turn voiceover on, then we can actually do the voiceover practice. Voiceover on. Voiceover speaks items on the screen. So, you know, you swipe through the elements. Tap once to select an item. Double tap to activate the selected item. Swipe three fingers to scroll. And the voiceover practice. In the, in the voiceover practice, um, we can try different gestures. Voiceover practice. Heading. Practice voiceover gestures, commands, and typing in this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. So if I want to see what different finger combinations and swipes um, do, I can just start tapping and it'll tell me what they do. Two finger single tap. Pause or continue speech. Touch. Select item under your finger. Double tap. Activates the selected item. Two finger flick down. Read two finger flick up. Read page starting at flick right, move, flick left, move to previous item, rotate clockwise, select next rotor setting, rotate counterclockwise, select previous rotor setting, flick down, move to next item using rotor set, flick up, move to previous item using rotor setting. So I'm just trying a variety of different swipes, different numbers of fingers, you know you can do two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. Three finger single tap, speak page number or row is being displayed. Four finger single tap near bottom of screen. Move to the last element. Three finger triple tap. Toggle screen curtain on and off. So that's a good way to um, figure out all the different possible gesture combinations inside voiceover. Okay, thanks for watching.